in this session we will uh, talk about discovering and describing relationships uh, the functional form of the relationship is can be viewed um, as a sort of mathematical equation where uh, the output variable is modeled with the help of input variables so we uh, we have some system which has some kind of pattern with some uh, error term in that so the functional form is uh, actually helping us uh, to uh, identify or maybe to uh, to identify the possible causes uh, which can be which can be some independent variables but for the time series forecasting it is actually uh, the input variables are actually the past observations of that time series so we are we are trying to have some kind of function for which uh, the mean square error is minimum uh, in this example we have uh, a population of a region for uh, recorded for 10 years so if we are uh, if we want to have some kind of function or some kind of estimate which can be used uh, for this kind of uh, time series data what we can do firstly we can have a single mean value which can be used as an estimate for this entire data set so if we calculate the mean value we have mean value is equal to 48.776 so using this single value as as an estimate we can copy the same information for all the years actually this is the mean value which is representing all the years so if we calculate the squared error by deviating each observation from uh, this mean value we will have some squared error so we can calculate the squared error for this entire data set so which will provide some information if this estimate is good or not if we look at this graph actually these dots are the original observed series while this solid line is the mean value so the difference between the observed point and the mean value is the error so actually how much error error we are making while using the mean line as an estimate so if we look at this magnitude there are some errors which are of immense nature and especially if we see there are some negative errors and some positive errors as well so this is providing some kind of information if this estimate is not is good or not so we can easily observe that actually using the mean the single mean value as an estimate of this population time series is not uh, looking as good as it should be we have uh, seen from the figure that mean value is not a good forecast for this particular time series so what we can do we can have uh, uh, some kind of functional relationship or some kind of functional model which will provide us more information about the pattern of that system so uh, the amount which is actually we we see in the system which is actually the error term amount is quite high for some of the observations it is negative and for some of the observation it is positive so that's generally true for the mean of mean value but actually there is a, a systematic uh, change from the uh, positive errors to the uh, negative error so it is providing some kind of trend information in the time series so what we can do we can have some better functional form for this particular system where we can have more explained variation as compared to uh, the single mean value uh, one possible option is to have some kind of uh, trend line so what we can do we can uh, model the population with the help of a straight line where uh, by using the information in the time variable which is denoted here uh, with the help of x variable so if we uh, fit a trend line we possibly have a better uh, model for this kind of system uh, using this straight line we are actually made some forecast for these years so if we look at this column this is actually the forecast using the trend value fitted by regressing the population variable on the time variable 
and these are actually the scared error while making the forecast using the uh, straight line. Now, uh, in this figure, we are having these dots as the observed values. This uh, horizontal line is the mean value and this increasing line, this is the trend line. It can be easily observed that errors for the mean values are quite big while the errors for this trend line are relatively smaller and most of the points are actually around this uh, trend line which is graphically showing that trend line in this case is providing a better estimate uh, for this uh, uh, population uh, as compared to the single value of the mean. So functional form is in this case is better than the mean value. So if we look at the performance measures for the mean value sum of square error is 19.508 and if we calculate the average square error this is 1.951 while for the trend value the error sum of squared error is 0 0.463 and the mean square error is 0 0.046 so if you compare these two for the mean value 19.5 and for the trend value 0 0.4 so there is a huge difference between these two so this actually shows that the forecast provided by the trend line is better than the mean value. So what we conclude that in uh, many of the situations we may have some functional form of the system instead of using the mean value as a forecast.